Today, I'm really pleased to be joined by Millie Morrison in the first of our series of speaker interviews in the run-up to the British Dental Conference and Dentistry Show on the 17th and 18th of May at the NEC in Birmingham. Millie is a dentist with a special interest in aesthetic dentistry and clear aligner therapy and will be speaking in the BACD Theatre at the Dentistry Show in May about the impact of clear aligners. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today, Millie. So you'll I be speaking... No, thank you. Um, so you'll be speaking at the British Dentistry the British Dental Conference and Dentistry Show this year about the impact of clear aligners. Um, can you give us a bit of an overview of what you'll be covering during your lecture at the show? Yeah, absolutely. So what I find um, is that when we think about clear aligner therapy or orthodontics, a lot of the time we think very much about the aesthetic outcome. So how it can improve the smile, um, what the patient looks like, what they see, you know, when they're taking photos or looking in the mirror. Um, and actually, we can do so much more with clear aligners. So thinking about the function, thinking about the occlusion, both the static and the dynamic, um, and then thinking about how you know, having straighter teeth impacts oral health, you know, in terms of the manual dexterity that the patient needs to get around, you know, um, straight teeth versus crowded teeth, um, and then also how they perceive their ability to clean their keep their teeth clean and choose better diets. Because when we're doing prolonged treatment and we have lots of touch points with the patient we can do we can give so much more impact um than, you know if we just see them once a year or once every six months so we're going to be looking at those sorts of themes um so how we can go to the next level of clear aligner therapy and obviously aesthetics are important but bring in the other elements so actually we can talk to our patients in a very clinical way um, rather than what I tend to find again is lots of dentists don't want to talk about tooth straightening or clear aligner therapy because they feel like they're going to come across as a salesperson and we don't want to be a salesperson. But actually, uh, you know, I feel that if we do spot something with the function of the occlusion, you know, if we think about tooth wear anteriorly, then it's our duty of care to bring that up and tell the patient that that is an option that they have. That's no, brilliant. Sounds really interesting to get that kind of new perspective on clear aligners. Um, and what advice would you give to clinicians thinking about incorporating clear aligner therapy into their treatment offering? So I think it is it is just a case of starting. Uh, and I know it can be a little daunting. I certainly didn't get off to the smoothest start. Um, I sort of flipped between clear aligners and fixed appliances uh, whilst I was trying to find my groove and uh, then landed on clear aligners ultimately for numerous reasons. Um, but one of those was just you know, patient comfort, ease and the ability to I, mean, I do all the planning away from the patient. So actually my days in clinic are really stress free um, rather than, you know, sort of firefighting, which I tend tended to find more with fixed appliances. So it is a case of getting started and just doing, you know, finding those low hanging fruit so the easy cases the really simple cases that you can practice putting attachments on taking attachments off doing ipr if you need to um, and ultimately working with someone who is more experienced so if that's within your practice whether you need to find an external mentor um, whether you have colleagues friends that you can talk to as well um, so sort of surround yourself in it and be curious. Again, you know, when we think about the impact of clear aligners, when I first started doing it, I honestly did think it was just a tooth straightening appliance purely for aesthetics. And it's only when I became more curious and I really started to fall in love with what clear aligners can give patients um, that I realised that actually there is so much more and it brought me, me then brought me so much more joy in the terms of the work I was doing and you know I was someone who left university and was like I'm never going to do any education you know proper education again um, and I've done a diploma I've just done a master's and I'm about to start another diploma again this year all in clear aligner therapy just different themes of clear aligner <laughs> therapy. <laughs> That's brilliant um, and obviously there are new technologies emerging all the time in dentistry and um, are there any are there any technologies in particular that have made a big impact um, on your daily practice in recent years? Well I feel you know I think we can all agree that intraoral scanners 
have made a huge difference and I would always say that my you know it's a really bad day if the scanner's not working and thankfully touch wood that hasn't happened in in many years um so you know from a digital dentistry point of view from ease of use comfort for the patient and time efficiency um the um these intraoral scanners have been fantastic um better and lighter cameras um so I'm not the strongest of people and I always used to find I was a little bit on um off kilter with a big um, SLR camera but now we've got the mirrorless one so they, that's made a big impact <laughs> my daily life because uh, um taking photos has become a lot more a lot easier um like even you know the uh, then maybe it's not quite the same but you know the ergonomic loops have changed my back position and then what's really exciting is all the advancements that we're making in AI so the artificial intelligence whether that's the um, uh, x-rays um, showing us you know the caries in terms of the dentine enamel highlighting things showing being able to communicate with the patient in that way has just been incredible really and if we think about all the ways the AI is actually coming through in terms of being able to simulate outcomes almost immediately with the patient in the chair then you know we're able to give the patient and communicate with the patient so much more easily and whilst my aim is to always create these trusting relationships with patients um, patients naturally don't trust us so actually having that AI technology with us supporting what we're saying um, makes a big difference for the patients as well. Definitely yeah it's all really interesting stuff and then my final question for you is what are you most looking forward to about attending the British Dental Conference and Dentistry Show this year? So for me all conferences and I just I just really enjoy going and seeing my dentistry family. I feel that there is, you know, we work in our four white walls. We spend a lot of time perhaps with our, um, you know, the clinicians that work at the practice if we're there on the same day. We normally spend most of our time with, with our nurse. But what I really enjoy about when we go to conferences, conferences is seeing other people speak, seeing their ideas, hearing different points of view, getting updates, um, but also coming together in a more casual way and actually being able to discuss that with your co colleagues and friends. Um, and having that network being able to enjoy being around other dentists is so important <laughs> because otherwise it becomes a very lonely profession um so for me that's what i always really enjoy about going to the conference brilliant well thank you so much for your time today Lily. it's been such a pleasure speaking to you um and i really look forward to seeing you at the british dental conference and dentistry show in a few months time thank you very much for having me and i look forward to seeing you there too pleasure thank you